Hello, I'm Dr. Paul Karpecki. Today I'm going to take you through a technology I'm extremely excited about known as the MeCheck. It's a wonderful mybography system that's very simple, but also a great patient education tool. Beyond that, it also is uh, not only is it important in terms of mybography, it takes into account the data, allows us to do a symptom score on the OSDI 6, which gives us a lot of the key symptoms related to dry eye, and allows me then to take it and educate the patient, give us a grading of where they're at based on the Colt score. That's a MIBO scale, this is listed here, but Dr. Polt has done a lot of the work in terms of creating this and validating it. And so we're lucky to get to present this to you today. All right, I have one of my technician assistants here, Stacy, who's gonna take us through the process and our patient, Michael, here today. So let's select the patient and we're gonna do mybography. This is called the MIBO scale, as we talked about. And you can see the red outline lines up beautifully with the lower eyelid in terms of where your mybomian glands would be. Uh, the lights in the pupil are typically what the patient is also seeing. That's a targeting mechanism for them to look at it, to be centered, that, and, and to look in that center area. As you look at um, our alignment, we also have a red light that helps us line up the pupil or the center uh, of, the, of the eye itself. And there's a perfect lineup for the right eye. Now, one of the great things about this technology, as simple as it is, is they provide you a little tool to help flip the eyelids. So you want to line up the red uh, outline just below the lash line so that when you use this nice tool that they provide to avert the eyelid you place the tool underneath the eyelid line as you have there on the lashes and then just flip now we see the mybomian glands in focus <clears throat> we see that they're within that red outline we can press save and proceed here now as we're able to adjust contrast we can move it up or down based on where we want to place in to enhance the image that were there very quickly and very easily as you can see now, we have kind of a nice outline of the mybomian glands. You can see the areas where we have gray that are missing. And this tells us, you know, roughly how that compares to nice imaging down below. So you can assess that. All right, now we'll switch over to the left eye. Once again, you can see that that red outline of where the mybomian glands are going to be located when averting the lower eyelid uh, needs to be placed under the lash line. Uh, in order to get likely imaging because you know as you lower that lid it also lowers slightly so it gets very easy for a technician to do this it really it takes very little training so that is placed now right below uh, the eyelid is flipped and as you can see it's right in that ideal placement area that is then captured at this point, we're able to, once again, vary the contrast once we have our, our image in place. And again, depending on your Wi-Fi, this can be very quick um, in terms of its ability to uh, take the image and put it in place. Once again, you could get a great view here of the mybomian glands. You could differentiate them quite readily. You could see they're completely um, intact, nice slate of glands, a couple areas of gland loss, but very subtle. Um, and, and not as significant. Once again, we can go through the various scales. In this case, it's less than 25% clan loss, so that's a degree of only one. Let's save that. And this gives us the opportunity to now do the OSDI 6. So in this case, I'm gonna ask the patient, have you experienced any of the following during a typical day of the last month? Eyes that are sensitive to light, constantly, mostly, often, sometimes, or never? Sometimes. Blurred vision, constantly, mostly, often, sometimes, or never? Sometimes. Have problems with your eyes limited you in performing any of the following during a typical day of the last month? Driving at night? Sometimes. Watching TV? Often. Have your eyes felt uncomfortable in any of the following situations during a typical day of the last month? Windy conditions? Often. Places or areas with low humidity? Often. Thank you. That was really it. It tells you that in terms of your symptoms, you're a level two in terms of dry eye severity based on the um, Dr. Holt and Professor James Williamson scale. And one of the great things here, we'll put in, of course, the patient's information and go through that. But one of the things I really like is at this point, I could use that information for a number of things. One, it gives me a grading of the patient's symptoms and signs. Uh, number two, I could send that into my EHR, so we lock it in. And the third thing that's extremely exciting is that I can actually take this device, which is like an, essentially a tablet, I'm able to bring up the images and use it as a teaching tool in instructing my patient. Because Michael, I think now I can show you your mybography images. 
And what I'll do here is I'll just explain to you what they should look like. In actuality, what we're seeing, and these are very healthy meibomian glands. We see there's an entire array of glands. That's a really good sign. These little dark areas, though, tell me that there's likely some stress on these glands. So this would be a good case where we would want to take perhaps some preventative measures to ensure your meibomian glands continue to function. And many times we see symptoms present before the signs. And keep in mind that even though you have an entire array of meibomian glands, and it's so important to know what they look like, their function is also key. All right, now I want to take you through another feature in this technology of METIA, which is the ability to image up to a thousand times, not that you'd ever go to that level of magnification, but you could um, if you're really trying to isolate a flash or two or show perhaps a Demodex colorette uh, that are present in blepharitis. And here in this patient, as you can see, we have the imaging of the lashes. Um, you can see at the base of the lashes some mild areas that uh, may show some mild blepharitis, typical colorette kind of appearance but not a lot. These are overall very healthy lashes. And really, that's it. this simple. You line it up, it's like a camera. If you come around here, you can see how the features of this are. It's just simply placed directly straight ahead. You have the patient look slightly down. Uh, that seems to work best for our imaging. And it's just designed perfectly in terms of the amount of light that's present. Uh, you can adjust the LED as needed, and that we've already done to maximize our image. So you can see there what level to do it. And because it's LED, you get this very sharp contrast within the lashes, just as you see here. And then we save and proceed. And by proceed, we have a lot of options. I could email this to the patient, or we could put it in our EHR as an anterior segment photograph, which is billable, especially in this case, given the symptoms that we captured in the OSDI-6. So excellent technology, both for mybography, as well as for external eyelid uh, imaging. So you're able to completely capture blepharitis, whether it's MGD or external eyelash blepharitis.